Uh, it's just a video to show fault finding and that with the uh, Blu-ray drive to find out if it's your laser or another problem. First off, to get the PlayStation apart, on the bottom, underneath this foot, there's normally a warranty sticker. This hasn't got it because uh, I've taken it apart already and I've just stuck a bit of black tape over it. So you peel off the warranty sticker, or in this case a black tape. Take off the rubber foot that's on the bottom. And then that gives you access to a torque screw. If you undo the torque screw, take that out. There's a torque screw there. Now it's just got a pin in the middle of it to make things a bit more awkward, but it's alright. And then the top just slides off to the left. And that lifts off the top section. And that gives you seven screws to undo, a short one. And the short one is labelled with an S and an arrow in the top corner. You can see it, that's the short one now. Don't want to come out. There we go. Right, and then in the back right hand corner up here, you've got a clip you're pushing to release the panel. It lifts up from the back. Okay, lifts up like that. It slides off. And that gives you access to all the parts. One thing I forgot to say is to make sure you've ejected the disc. Do that now. Think about it, it's still got my disc in now. So you've got a couple of little connectors on the PlayStation down here. That one's your eject button and that one's your power button. Don't touch none of the other metal parts whilst it's on, just those two. So I'll eject the disc, which is this one. Okay, and then turn it back off again. Okay, switch off the machine at the back. Next up, I want to remove the Blu ray drive, which is simply this plug here at the front. I'll be getting a bit closer. Move this plug here at the front for the Blu ray, and there's a ribbon cable underneath. Under there, on the circuit board, you need to undo. Okay, and off comes the Blu ray drive. And next, once so I do that screw, that screw, and that screw, and that one, and the one with the foot. Okay, I'm going to do that, and then I'll start recording again for part two, and then see what I'll show you how to. Uh, see if the Blu-ray is actually working or not.